Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to be checking out another horse, which is an amazing alternative to the Arabians, which are considered the top three horses in the game due to their all around stats. But the horse we're going for right now, if you don't want to use the Arabians, may very well be your best choice, and that is the Missouri Foxtrotter. Now, there are two of these that you could get in the game, one of which you can get after Chapter 4, or when you get into Chapter 4, and then the other one is when you get into Epilogue 1. Now, you can also get the Missouri Foxtrotter from the bounty hunters that will chase you down if you go into Blackwater too early, but that is a very risky way to do it, but it is possible, so keep that in mind. But we're going to go ahead and check them out the easy way by going to the stables here, which is just southwest of the uh, Green Emerald, Emerald Ranch. The Green Emerald Ranch. Oh my God. What a ridiculous day today. Uh, but anyways, we have to go to these stables just southwest of Emerald Ranch and we'll be able to buy our Missouri Foxtrotter there. Now we're gonna go ahead and check this out and compare it to the Arabian so that way you guys can get a good idea of its potential. Now, to be able to buy horses here, you are going to need to at least have one open slot in your stables, and you're going to want to go ahead and check out the Missouri Foxtrotter. Depending on your honor, you'll be able to get this for a little bit less than what I'm able to buy it for due to my basically massive lack in honor. Uh, but regardless, it does come with seven natural speed and five acceleration. So this is a little bit faster than the Arabian, and it is beautiful. So let's go ahead and buy this bad boy here. And we got to think of a name. Ah, the perfect name. Captain Horseface, the Majestic Horse. It's pretty good. And I, I quite like the way these things look. I will have to obviously groom it, get a little bit of a hairstyle going on here, but I'm gonna quite like this horse. Now, as far as the stats go, it comes with seven natural speed and five acceleration. So it is faster than any of the actual Arabians although the acceleration is slightly less. So your top speed is going to be a lot better, and it's going to be good for escaping things really, well, quickly and fast. It's a racehorse, pretty much. Also a workhorse. Now, as far as the stats go, the health does come with uh, six stamina and five health, so just a little bit less health than what the Black Arabian comes with. So all in all, still a really well-rounded horse. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy groomed up. We might do something a little bit different, since this horse looks a little bit different here, but I really love the way the mohawk looks. I've been putting that on every horse, but I don't know if I actually like the way the mohawk looks on this one. Now uh, we can do the dreadlocks, which kind of look derpy. The braids, nah. Long, uh, I'm not a big fan of the long either. Short, maybe. Might not look so bad. Regular. Maybe we'll go with the dreadlocks and we'll go with... That's... Uh, what is this color? I don't even know. It does match, though. We can go with the red and black, which I've been using a lot. Or the silver actually doesn't look bad. I saw a man silver and black. Hmm. Interesting. So we got a lot of options here. Oh, that one looks weird. I think the, the silver and black might do. Looks Just interesting. Fine. Oh, the mohawk with the silver and black actually looks really nice. We can do the braids. I haven't done braids yet. You know what? We'll go with the braids. And... Ooh, that actually looks nice. Let's go back to that one. The, this one? That one there. That looks pretty nice. I do like that, even with the mohawk. Okay, so we got braids there, and then for the tail, we're gonna do a simple... Yeah, grooming a horse. Yeah, we'll the braid. Sure makes yeah. It That's interesting. Oh, it's... What's going up at the top there? Oh, look at them big old meaty clackers. It's a boy, ladies and gentlemen. It is a boy. Let's go ahead and take this thing for a spin, shall we? And we'll see if we can actually compare it to the height of the, the Arabian for you guys. So the Missouri Foxtrotter. There is one more rare uncommon one that we need to ride. Uh, the Missouri Foxtrotter is a well-rounded, multi-class breed. They can be identified by their muscular frame and eye-catching coats. Both the Amber Champagne and the Silver Dapple Pinto can be purchased from a stable. They are renowned for their gentle trotting, which makes them a comfortable ride. Their strong build and great stamina also makes them excellent workhorses. This breed is healthy 
and fast. It's super muscular, and I know a lot of people have been saying that they want bigger horses that look a little bit more muscular than the small Arabians, and uh, I quite like the Arabians. They're my, they're just really good horses, even in real life. But look at the, the musculature on this horse. It's, it's pretty nice. Arthur looks a lot better riding this than he does on the Arabians, and look at that coat. That is beautiful in the sunset. Oh my goodness. The meaty clackers just glowing. It's it's a nice horse. So I guess here's a decent way to show the size. If we actually cycle to them both, you can see that the Arabian's butt basically doesn't really come that much above the window in the stalls. You can see that this horse is quite a bit bigger. It'll cycle you pretty much at the same size. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to, without setting them side by side, to show the height for these. But that kind of gives you a little bit of a glimpse there. So the Missouri Foxtrotter is quite a bit bigger. Obviously, there are larger horses in the game. So it's going to be up to you if you want to ride something else. All the horses are pretty good once you have max bonding. And um, I highly recommend the Missouri Foxtrotter. They're right now, it's probably sure, one of my we'll favorite horses in the game. Uh, just because it's a little bit different. I've been riding Arabians pretty much the entirety of the story so far. And I'm definitely looking yeah. for a little bit of a change in pace. Now, I do absolutely love the Thoroughbreds. Now, you have a couple other really nice horses that I'm going to be showcasing. And if you guys would like me to show you where to get all of the uncommon coat horses, which you're going to need to be able to get 100% in the game, uh, I'm going to start a little series that basically shows, you know, all the horses in the game. So make sure to check out the playlist, and uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the Missouri Foxtrotter, and if you're able to get this horse for free, definitely let me know how you got it. I know you can get them from Bounty Hunters, but that is a rather dangerous proposition, so if you do decide to do it that way, make sure to save beforehand. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, Okay. And you want to subscribe for more? The do so, it's free. Can't hurt nobody. Oh, this is beautiful right now. Look at this. Oh, look at that beautiful horse. And if you feel like doing me a kindness and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share support and follow that like button a little bit. It really helps out. I will see you all in the next one.